Welcome to a world where container gardens thrive and myths get debunked. Picture this, a thriving balcony garden, a windowsill herb setup, color and life in every corner. You've heard the myths, you can't grow vegetables in pots, container plants don't need regular fertilizing. But what if we told you otherwise? What if we told you these are just misconceptions waiting to be busted wide open? Ready to uncover the truth about container gardening? Let's dive in. Did you know bigger containers don't always mean bigger plants? It's a common myth in the world of container gardening, but let's set the record straight. It's not the size of the container that matters, but rather the size of your ambition, tempered with a dash of know-how. Here's the fact. The key to thriving plants and containers isn't necessarily a bigger pot, but proper plant selection and appropriate container size. Take, for example, a cherry tomato plant. This variety is known for its compact nature and is perfect for a medium-sized pot. Plant one of these in a massive container, and you'll find it lost in a sea of soil, unable to utilize all the space. On the flip side, plant a watermelon vine in a small pot, and you'll quickly find it outgrowing its home, its roots cramped and stressed. Another myth we often hear is, you can't grow vegetables in pots. The truth is, many vegetables thrive in containers. From lettuce and radishes to peppers and eggplants, the possibilities are bountiful. Container gardening opens up a world of fresh, homegrown produce, even for those who lack a traditional garden space. Then there's the myth that container plants don't need regular fertilizing. The reality is, just like their counterparts in the ground, container plants need nutrients to thrive. When we water plants in containers, nutrients can leach out of the bottom, so regular fertilizing is essential to replenish this loss and keep our plants healthy and productive. Lastly, let's debunk the myth that any soil will do for container gardening. In fact, container plants need a well-draining, nutrient-rich potting mix. Garden soil is too dense and can compact in a container, suffocating the roots. A good potting mix, on the other hand, provides the right balance of drainage and water retention, as well as the nutrients your plants need to flourish. Remember, proper plant selection and container size are key to thriving plants. So, let's cast aside these myths and embrace the facts. When we do, we open up a whole new world of possibilities for our green thumbs, no matter how small our gardening space may be. Think any soil will do for container gardening? Think again. Soil is much more than just dirt. It's a complex ecosystem teeming with life and nutrients that plants need to thrive. And when it comes to container gardening, the soil you choose is even more crucial. It's a common misconception that you can simply scoop up soil from your garden and use it in your containers. But let's debunk this myth right here, right now. Garden soil is often too dense for container use. It can compact over time, making it difficult for roots to grow and for water to drain properly. Instead, container plants prefer soil that is light, well-draining, and rich in nutrients. This is where potting mix comes into play. Unlike garden soil, potting mix is specially formulated to provide the right texture and nutrient balance for container plants. It often contains ingredients like peat moss or coconut coir for moisture retention, perlite or vermiculite for aeration, and compost or slow-release fertilizers for nutrition. Remember, one of the key advantages of container gardening is the control you have over your growing conditions. You can tailor your soil to the specific needs of your plants. For example, succulents and cacti prefer a sandy, fast-draining mix, while vegetables and herbs might prefer a richer, more compost-heavy mix. Furthermore, container soil needs to be refreshed more often than garden soil. Over time, nutrients in the potting mix get used up by the plant or washed away during watering. So, it's important to replace or replenish your soil every year or so to keep your plants happy and healthy. So, next time you're preparing your pots, don't just fill them with any old dirt. Choose or make a potting mix that will give your plants the best chance to thrive. After all, the soil is the foundation of your garden, and a strong foundation leads to strong, healthy plants. Having a well-draining, nutrient-rich potting mix is your secret weapon. Does daily watering sound too much? It might just be. One of the most persistent myths about container gardening is the belief that our potted plants need to be watered every day. It's a well-intentioned myth, but it could potentially drown your green friends. 
The truth is, the frequency of watering depends on a range of factors. The type of plant, the weather, and the container itself all have a role to play. For instance, succulents and cacti, those hardy desert dwellers, need far less watering than, say, your thirsty tomato plants. It's essential to know the watering needs of each plant species in your container garden. Overwatering can lead to root rot and other diseases, while underwatering can leave your plants parched and stressed. Weather also plays a vital role in determining watering frequency. On hot, dry days, water evaporates quickly, and your plants may need more hydration. However, during cooler, rainy periods, you might need to cut back on watering. Now, let's talk about containers. Different materials can affect how quickly water evaporates. For example, clay pots are porous and allow water to seep out, while plastic pots hold moisture longer. The size of the container also matters. Larger pots hold more soil and therefore retain more water. A good rule of thumb is to water your plants when the top one to two inches of soil are dry. You can check this by simply sticking your finger into the soil. If it feels dry, it's time to water. But remember, it's better to give a thorough soaking less often than to sprinkle a little water more frequently. This method encourages your plants to grow deeper roots, making them more resilient and better able to access nutrients. So, next time you reach for that watering can, take a moment to consider your plant's specific needs, the current weather, and the type of container you're using. Remember, watering depends on the plant type, weather, and the container. Believe all plants need direct sunlight? Not quite true. In the world of gardening, light is life, but not all plants are sun worshippers. Some prefer the cool, gentle embrace of the shade, while others bask in the full glory of the sun. It's all about knowing your plant's unique needs and providing the right environment for them to flourish. This is where the beauty of container gardening truly shines. Unlike traditional gardens where your plants are stuck in one spot, container gardening offers unparalleled flexibility. You can easily move your containers to different parts of your home or balcony, adjusting the light exposure as needed. Now, let's debunk the myth that all plants need direct sunlight. While it's true that some plants like tomatoes and roses thrive in direct sunlight, others like ferns and begonias prefer shade or indirect light. It's not just about the amount of sunlight, but also the quality of it. Morning sunlight tends to be gentler, while afternoon sunlight can be intense and scorching. So it's crucial to understand the light requirements of your plants and place them accordingly. For instance, if you notice your plant's leaves turning yellow or brown, it might be getting too much sunlight. On the other hand, if your plant is leggy and weak, it could be craving more light. Remember, every plant is unique. Some like it hot, others like it cool, but all of them need light to grow. Understanding your plant's sunlight needs can turn a wilting plant into a thriving one. Ever heard container plants don't need as much fertilizer? Let's debunk that. Fertilizing is not an optional luxury for your container plants. It's a necessity. Unlike their in-ground counterparts, container plants don't have unlimited access to nutrients in the surrounding soil. The limited amount of potting mix in a container can quickly become nutrient depleted as your plant grows and thrives, leading to a hungry plant. Now, you might be wondering, which fertilizer should I use, organic or synthetic? Well, both have their strengths. Organic fertilizers, such as compost or worm castings, release nutrients slowly, enriching the soil over a long period. They also support beneficial soil microbes, which enhance plant health. Synthetic fertilizers, on the other hand, are fast-acting and highly concentrated. They deliver a quick nutrient boost, ideal when your plants show signs of deficiency. But remember, they don't enhance the soil's long-term fertility or microbial life, like organic options do. Here's a handy tip. Regardless of the type of fertilizer you choose, always follow the recommended dosage. Over-fertilizing can lead to nutrient burn, which can damage your plants. And don't forget, different plants have different nutritional needs. Some might need more nitrogen for leafy growth, while others might require more phosphorus for blooming. So, do a little research on your plant's specific needs before feeding them. A well-fed plant is a happy plant. Don't skimp on the right nutrients. Let's quickly go over the myths we debunked today. Size doesn't always matter when it comes to containers. Any soil won't do. A well-draining, nutrient-rich mix is key. Watering? It's not a daily must-do. Sunlight? 
not all plants crave the spotlight, and fertilizing? Absolutely essential for container plants. So, shake off those myths and let's get our hands dirty. Don't let myths hold you back. Experiment, learn, and grow with us. If you found these tips helpful, like, share, and subscribe for more gardening wisdom.